Andy Warren asked, on a scale of 1 to 10, how hard do you laugh when UCF fans claim a title in 2017? I laugh pretty hard. So that's my answer. I just want to be honest with you. I kind of thought the entire concept was a joke. I didn't take the claim seriously. But I will tell you, there is, this is the third time I've said this tonight, there is a side B to this opinion as well. At, at its outset, when we were in the moment, remember what the situation was. This was the year that Alabama and Georgia ended up rematching in a title game for the first time. And there were a lot of Central Florida folks who were buying into one of the biggest lies in college football, which is you are what your record says you are. It's a lie. It's a trap. Don't fall into it. But if you put yourself in the shoes of a UCF grad or player or coach or fan, I want to ask you, including myself, how would you have acted differently? And your answer, if you're being honest, is you would have done the same thing. You would have been mad for the same reasons, especially if I had any administrative role at UCF, and this is where I want to give you the side B, I wouldn't have done anything different. I would have understood, even if in the back of my mind I knew competitively we don't, we don't compete at the same level of football as those two do, Bama and Georgia. I get that, okay? That would have been me in the back room. But when I walked through the curtain and I faced my constituents, I would have said, hang the banner. That's what I would have said. And we would have that banner hanging proudly down there in the old bounce house, as they call it. But also, that wasn't the trick for UCF. I, I know Danny White was the AD there at the time. And I know that in a front-facing manner, he, he read all the right bullet points. Danny White is not an idiot. He's at Tennessee now for a reason. I called him Mike White the other day. How shameful was that? Danny White knew exactly what he was doing. You can't even begin to quantify how much free marketing they got out of that. I mean, there are a lot of people who are hyper aware of University of Central Florida football now that did not know it from Adam back in 2016 or 17. They got so much valuable marketing and branding out of that. And they also, they kind of painted themselves as a representation of a cause. UCF football went from a brand that has a little cartoon night that you may or may not have heard of to all of a sudden being the face for a little guy everywhere, for the underappreciated guy in your office, or just take it on the athletic field to any kind of team that's ever been overlooked or any kind of competitor or group of competitors that have never been given a fair shot. All of a sudden, that became UCF football. They were the little guy. They were the everyman. And they did it by getting you riled up because they gave themselves a fictitious championship that really, it's not tangible. It doesn't exist. It's a banner that hangs in their stadium. But they got folks so worked up, so worked up, and they kind of sat back. And like, I got a sister who I argue with all sorts of things on. And one of the most aggravating things is knowing she's wrong about something, which is just a fact, she is, but she will not raise her voice. Even as I raise my voice and my face gets red, she'll just say, well, you know, okay, you can believe what you want to believe. Two plus two is four. You think two plus two is seven. Ah, tomato, tomato. You know, we, got, we all got opinions. Well, it's not an opinion. You know, blue is the best color is an opinion. Two plus two is four is a fact. And yet you're telling me it's not. Well, back then it was Alabama and Georgia are playing in what is called the national championship game. You went to the Peach Bowl. You played an Auburn team, who I had a player, by the way, tell me was the, like the sixth biggest game they played that year. And you won the Peach Bowl. Congratulations. That makes you Peach Bowl champs. That doesn't make you national champs. That was the cry. And UCF sat back and went, no, I still think we're going to call ourselves champs. And then everyone pulled their hair out. What do you think happened to me? I used to have long flowing locks before 2017. And then that happened. And I got mad. But then I, I started to understand it. And I started to look down there. The more Danny White stroked his chin, I realized, wait a second, is he playing me? Am I being punked? Yep, we got punked. So UCF, yeah, you can laugh at the concept that they're the national champions in 2017, but what they accomplished was so much bigger than that. Oh, and by the way, where are they headed? They are headed to the Big 12. So they very soon will be a quote-unquote power five team to the point where, you know, Cincinnati just pulled it off. Maybe Central Florida becomes the second former G5 team. I guess that'd be a former G5 team. That'd be a P5 team to make it. I think it was very, very shrewd marketing. That's what I think it was. And I think a lot of folks got it and they were well ahead of the curve on it. So I would have done the same thing UCF did.